Good day, lords and ladies. My name is Chris. I am the founder and lead developer of Argonwood. My team and I are developing Rising Lords, a medieval turn-based strategy game. Today, I'll give you a quick tour on some key features of our new story editor, which has just been released. With it, you can add to your maps custom starting values, events, victory conditions, stories and much more. From the main menu, you can jump into it right away. First up, you have to set the size of the map you want to build. Choose from a variety of different tiles, shape the lands, build cities and define resource deposits. Make sure to set player regions and place enough waypoints. The game will always tell you if you're missing something in the top right corner. Feel free to look through the video tutorial we provided for this part, linked in the description below. Once you're satisfied with your general map design, you're ready to set up your story. Open up the story tree in the top right corner. This is where the magic happens. Basic rules first. Single left click will expand or collapse something. Keeping the left mouse button pressed will open a menu or confirm a selection. These four nodes right here are used to set your starting conditions. Any new node will be placed chronologically below. For our example map, we want to have a strong AI ruler in the middle, surrounded by many weaker cities, two of which are controlled by the player. The AI will move out to conquer the regions one after the other. The player needs to conquer the main castle to end their rule and win the game. So let's set some starting conditions together. Open the server mod node by pressing and holding the left mouse button. A menu to the right opens, which can be understood as a selection. Anything you select will be moved to the nodes on your left. Open the server mod node on the right with a single click. I'll press and hold left click for game settings and player settings for them to be transferred to our code, since we want to adjust them. Click the menu node on the top to close the selection. When opening game settings, we can see a bunch of variables which we are able to adjust. Let's set the resources, weapons and prosperity to low. In the player settings, we are going to adjust the starting regions for both parties to fit our map layout. Player 1, the human player, will start with region 3. AI, defined as player 4, will get region 1. We are also setting a custom name for the AI and tweak its behavior. The basics are done, but since we want the human player to start with an additional region, we need to set our first story node. Under Region, we'll add the Change Region Resource node. Region 5, which is currently not tied to any player, will be set to Local. Local is always defined as the player launching the map. The Change Region Resource node is also the right place to adjust region-based values like population or happiness. If you don't change anything, the settings will always default to the core mechanics of Rising Lords. We'll use another story node to write an introductory text to our scenario and attach an image as well. It's always a good idea to create a new story group node for a group of settings that are related to keep your code clean and structured. In our next step, we want to display the victory condition in the top left corner to aid the player. Since they just need to conquer one specific region to win instead of wiping out all enemy territories, we should keep their focus on that. Add a task node and give it a fitting title and description. This will now always be displayed in the top left until the goal is reached. These nodes can also be used for multi-layered quests, just like the ones you can experience in our in-game tutorial. Now we need to specify the win condition. Since we want the task to be completed when the region is claimed, we need to add the region objective to the node specify the region number and set it to local as well. And with that, we have set up a pretty simple scenario already. 
Of course, the editor offers way more variety for you to experiment with. The tools are there for you to use and unleash your creative freedom. We could, for example, add the feature that the player gets additional peasants whenever the AI claims a region. Combine that with a story note of people seeking refugee in your realm, or rebels joining the right cause, and you suddenly got events happening that make your scenario much more interesting. Speaking of which, those could of course also be created and bound to different conditions, like the amount of rounds that pass, or players performing a predefined action. After finishing the creation of your own scenario, be sure to save it. If you create more complex scenarios, it's always best to save in between so you don't lose any progress. Test your map to ensure everything works as you intended, and all the nodes trigger when needed. Once you're happy with it, you can upload your creation to the Steam Workshop to share it with other players. And of course, you can download all the scenarios listed there yourself. Just like the one we created together. This one also has a few more nodes with events in it. Feel free to download and play it, or to check the code if you're looking for pointers on how to create certain tasks. The editor is a mighty tool, with lots of features for you to experiment with. We know that it might be a bit too much to comprehend all at once, so we wrote an extensive documentation to ensure that you can read up on everything you don't understand. And if the documentation can't answer your question, Feel free to reach out to us personally. We foster an active exchange with our community on our Discord server and we, or other community members, will happily help you out with any issues or questions you might encounter. The links to the Discord and the documentation can both be found in the description below. We are super excited to see what challenges your lords and ladies out there come up with and we are looking forward to playing your creations. Be creative and have fun with a new story editor.